Hey YouTube, uh, this is Extafire, and this is another Visual Basics.net tutorial. This is tutorial number 17, and in this tutorial I'm just showing you how to click a button on a website, such as a search button on YouTube or Yahoo or any of those kind of sites. So first of all, uh, I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio 2011 RC, the release candidate. Uh, this, there are a few bugs, but so far I like it. It's pretty cool. So, first of all, just get, uh, make a project, put uh, four buttons in a web browser, and there's perhaps no, no errors. No, when we do this, just put a web browser one dot navigate. I mean, oops, click on the form and go and put a web browser one dot script error suppressed equals true. That will just take any errors out. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to click on YouTube, so click on the YouTube button and put webrussell1.navigate, uh, parenthesis, and then, uh, quotes, http.youtube.com or whatever, and then same thing for Yahoo, and so what that's going to do is you click that, it's going to search for, it's going to go to that website in this web browser. So I'll be able to do this clicking the buttons. And so to click the button on YouTube, which is right here, just put web browser one dot document dot get element by ID. And right here is the ID of the button on the website that you want to click the button on. And then put dot invoke member, which basically it just clicks the button on the website for you. So I'm going to do YouTube first. So I'm just going to go to YouTube.com right here. Right, and this works best on Google Chrome because you can inspect the element. So right, right click on the search button, inspect element. And a little tricky on YouTube, but you need to find the ID of that button, which is right here, search-btn. Uh, so I'm just going to copy that. And I'm just going to put that there. So search btn .invoke member. So now, when I start it, it's, I'm going to click YouTube. It's going to go to youtube.com. And then I'm going to search for something in the search box and press this button right here. And it's going to search. So I'm going to start it. So here it is. I'm going to click on YouTube. So now I'm just going to search for something in here. I'm just going to type in YouTube. And I'm going to click this right here. Click YouTube search. And there we go. It searched for all the stuff that YouTube. I can do it again. I can go to vb.net. Click, uh, click YouTube search. There we go. Searches for YouTube. And so, same thing basically for Yahoo. You just exit that. Click on the Yahoo search. Same code and everything. You just put the ID in there. So now I'm going to go to YouTube. And I'm going to right click on the search button. And the ID is pretty easy here. Search submit dash submit. I'm just going to copy that, put it in here, and start it up. So now Yahoo. There's the page. I'm just going to search something on here. Um, db.net and click search Yahoo. And there we go. Searches for vv.net. I can just switch it, go to YouTube if I want. There you go. Type in vv.net again. Click YouTube search. It presses that button right there. So, yeah, this is a pretty simple tutorial on 
how to click buttons on websites. It can be pretty much any button. Uh, it can't be links. Well, you could. There's a way that you, you you can click a link on a website, but for now it's just buttons, which is pretty simple. Um, my next one would probably be you had to click uh, a button without an ID. So let's say you um. Oops. Let's say you don't right click on a button and there's no ID. Like there's no ID here. Uh my next tutorial is gonna show how to click a button without an ID. So you guys this is oh yeah, and you, you can download this uh project. It will be it will be compatible with uh Microsoft Visual Studios 2008, 2010 or Microsoft Visual Studio 2000, Microsoft Visual Basics 2008-2010 and you can download this project and it's the exact same thing on sourcecodedraft.com um, just click on the vb.net section and this, you, or you can search for it on the search bar and it will show up so this is Extra Fire signing out